So this is another video for Ethicare Dental, this is Glafkos Tombolus um, and I'm just going to be talking today a little bit about uh, what's involved with uh, a dental checkup and what's involved with a dental hygiene appointment. So when you go to your dentist for the first time, assuming that you're just uh, going along for a checkup, um, uh, you go into the dental surgery and uh, they'll sit you down with a, a registration form and a medical history form. And that's a very important part of the process. Um, uh, so we'll be able to find out information um, about you and uh, in, in terms of your medical history, but also uh, how various factors might influence um, your, your dental treatment as well. So that part of the process is very important. Um, at that point, you'll be brought brought through and generally speaking the first thing that the, the dentist uh, will be trying to find out from you is whether you have any concerns and, and what those concerns are. Uh, the idea uh, is that we want to address those concerns so it's important that we identify those from the outset. Um, so um, once we've found out those concerns we'll be taking a history about those in particular uh, and then at that point uh, the checkup uh, will will start uh, and we'll be checking the outside of your face uh, uh, and there's various things that we, we look for there. We're looking for any swellings, we're looking for any asymmetry, uh, we're looking at your uh, jaw joints um, uh, and, then, and, and also your glands um, as well just to see if there's any changes there. At that point we'll be looking inside your mouth and We'll be checking the, the soft tissues around your mouth and there's a procedure that we go through to systematically check those uh, soft tissues. And then we'll be checking um, the, the teeth and uh, we'll be kind of systematically working our way around the teeth and uh, checking each one in particular, see if there's any fillings, if there's any decay, if there's any problems associated with them. Uh, at that point, once we've done that, the other kind of things that we check are um, the way that you're biting together, um, and, and various other things as part of, of the dental checkup. Once uh, we've got, those, uh, got that done, uh, if there's anything that's causing us particular concern, we'll check those areas in particular. So uh, if, for instance, there's a tooth with a very large filling inside it, we might want to do what's called vitality testing of the tooth. Uh, we're going to need to take x-rays of particular tooth. If you've got a wisdom tooth which might be causing a problem, it may be that we'll need an x-ray of that particular tooth. As a new patient to the practice, uh, we, we like to take uh, what are called bite wing x-rays. Bite wing x-rays allow us to see the areas underneath the fillings, uh, between the teeth to be able to determine whether there's any decay, as well as the bone levels around the teeth. Um, and they will help us to be able to come up uh, with a plan to, uh, to decide what form of treatment is required, if, if any. Um, at, at that point, once we've got all the uh, information that we require uh, to come up with a plan, we'll put that plan together for you. And then we'll run through that with you. Uh, and every element of the plan will be explained in, in a lot of detail, uh, as well as the costs involved with any treatment that you require. Uh, so that's that's the dental checkup. I, I have patients ask me how regularly should I come for a dental checkup. Well, that varies totally from individual to individual. Um, there might be some patients who we would want to see every three months. There might be some patients who we would suggest that perhaps every year to year and a half is absolutely fine. Uh, so, f for instance, in a patient who's suffering from uh, severe decay or perhaps severe gum problems, things can change very fast if they're not monitored. And so we need to make sure that um, these changes are kept under control. But in an individual who, has, uh, who we've been seeing regularly and there's been no, change, no changes and there are unlikely to be any changes, their diet is stable, then um, every year or year and a half for, for dental checkups are, are usually fine. Um, so th the next thing is, is a hygiene appointment. Now, because in the mouth the majority of problems usually occur because of the presence of bacteria, having uh, uh, good hygiene is important at home, obviously, uh, but also uh, having the hygienist 
or the dentist to clean your teeth uh, is, is often a very valuable tool to give you a helping hand to make sure uh, that we're, we're keeping the bacteria levels down. And also, because we're all only human, we're not doing everything the correct, the, the absolutely the correct way. And so having someone show you uh, what, the, what the right way is, you know, modifying your technique um, is important. Uh, and so seeing the hygienist or the dentist to run through these things with you uh, is important. Uh, but also, um, if bacteria is allowed to build up, you can get solidified bacteria in the form of tartar building up around the teeth. And so that often needs to be, uh, needs to be removed. And so the question then comes, um, uh, how often should I see the hygienist? Well, again, it varies from individual to individual. Some patients who are particularly susceptible to um, uh, problems associated with losing bone and gum disease uh, need to be seen every three months. Um, I would say to you that uh, uh, most individuals would benefit from seeing the hygienist every six months, but that's not a hard and fast rule. Uh, if, they're, if you're removing the bacteria and plaque effectively uh, on your own, there may be no need for you to see the hygienist for some time. Uh, that's something that needs to be assessed at the checkups, uh, and that can change uh, over time. So um, one of the things that, that have changed over the last few years is that um, uh, patients have been able to directly access either the dentist or the hygienist for, for cleaning. Certainly if you're seeing uh, a hygienist, it's important to recognize that that hygienist is not a dentist. There's certain elements of dental disease that won't be able to be diagnosed by the hygienist and they literally would be cleaning your teeth. And for most patients, that's absolutely fine. Um, need, they need to be aware, some patients, for instance, who are suffering badly from gum problems, there are um, aspects of their care that are better seen by, by a dentist or, or what's called a periodontist who's a specialist in, in, in gum treatment. But that's something that the hygienist will, uh, will kind of inform you about. Uh, and then obviously it's up to you to kind of take, take action as to whether you see that dentist or, or, or the hygienist. So, um, as I say, it differs from individual to individual. In terms of what will be carried out at the hygiene appointments, well, again, um, it's important to realise that uh, the hygienist is going to be uh, uh, taking a history, finding out what you do um, uh, uh, at home so that we can find out where we need to perhaps change things. Um, uh, and obviously medical history is obviously is, is very important uh, as well in terms of determining how we go forward. Uh, at that point, um, uh, the, uh, it will, the hygienist will, or the dentist will carry out an examination of the mouth, monitor the condition of the gums, and then, and then a treatment plan will be formulated from a hygiene perspective. So it may be, for instance, that someone uh, who has got a bit of bacterial plaque uh, what's called gingivitis inflammation of the gums all you may need is a simple hygiene appointment which might take half an hour to remove the bacteria and tartar uh, from around from around the gums and then that would be it for whatever period of time um, it is required until the next hygiene appointment um, but if we carry out the examination and we notice that there are problems which have occurred um, and there's been some bone loss there, it may be that you'll need extra sessions of, of hygiene. And the reasons for that should be explained to patients. What causes gum problems and, and gum disease should be explained to patients. Further monitoring around the gums might be required to um, uh, measure the extent of, of, the, of the disease. And then the treatment plan will be explained to the patient and then we'll get on with doing the treatment. And generally speaking, the protocol for, for patients like that are, um, you, you know, difficult often to carry out treatment um, in all areas of the mouth in one session. And so that needs to be divided uh, between uh, various sessions to carry out, to carry out the treatment. Um, the key is, is that we want to be getting the, the, the teeth and the gums as, as clean as possible, uh, whilst making things as comfortable as possible for the patient. So... Uh, the hygienist or the dentist who's carrying out that should be kind of recognising that fact to try and, you know, explain things to the patient and make things as, as comfortable as possible. So that's a, a short video explaining checkups and hygiene. We'll have further videos uh, in the future explaining what's involved in the protocols uh, behind things like gum disease as well. Okay, thank you.